Welcome back to another racing event here in the 2019 season here on Forza Motorsports 7. I am FHRC Brony, and today, Equestrian Motorsports racer Sunset Shimmer returns back to racing. And we're here at WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca. And the races are off. Now, this will let you guys know a little bit of fun fact about myself. I'm actually uh, pretty far from this track. I mean, I am from California, but this track is really darn far from where I live. But as they now enter through turn two, coming into turn three, since the Shimmer drives that Lamborghini Centenario here for the very first time. And well, actually, this is not her very first time racing the Centenario. If you guys seen some previous videos of her racing a Centenario back in Forza Horizon 3, you will understand that this is not a new car to her. But it is a new car to her when it comes to racing around this track because especially with Equestrian Motorsports and Shadowball's racers, we have actually never raced on this track before. But so this is the first time and Sunset Shimmer is going through it pretty solidly. But uh, she did state on an interview uh, just before this race that this is a new track to her and things are going to be a little bit fishy when it comes to driving a Tintinaro high-speed racing car or even at least a, a hypercar like what Sunset is driving it's going to be a little bit of a, a bumpy ride for her but as so far she's doing pretty good around here coming out of the better turn about to enter turn 11 and she's now entering turn 11 coming out of turn 11 into the final stretch coming into second lap so far so good her second lap now begins coming through turn one and now she's about to enter turn two which is the hairpin turn i remember this track back in gran turismo 3 and i mean a lot of people know this track through gran turismo so yeah and she's now entering to turn three great job by sunset shimmer uh, especially for her over a few months absence and if you guys are wondering what happened to her like what happened to Sunset Shimmer during the uh, during the time while the other Equestrian Motorsport racers and Shadow Bolts were doing for the past few months for the season uh, Sunset Shimmer had a really bad accident back in um, Daytona International Speedway with her Lamborghini Huracan and because uh, she uh, ex accidentally exited off the banks trying to she was actually hugging the, the banks until she gone through a situation that Dale Earnhardt uh, Sr. actually went through. Uh, and thank goodness that she was still alive at this time. Um, but the problem is that she had she suffered a major concussion and she was, then she wasn't able to race. Uh, now she's already feeling better and she's doing really solidly around here on the Guna Seca. Now she exits turn 11, coming into the turn... Ooh! Got off the track right there. Not a, not a good start to start off to finish out the second lap. But she's gonna have a fresh lap here as she's now finished her first half of the race. Ooh, a little bit, she almost got off the air right there. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, grammar's mistake. She almost got off the ground right there. As she goes through the hairpin turn with no sweat. Coming to turn three. I was about to say turn four, but this is turn three. Coming out of turn three, coming into turn four. Nice driving by Sunset right there. Coming into turn five. This is one of the easiest turns here. You can easily kind of flat out around here. Now he's about to approach the back stretch. Entering turn six. And there she goes through turn six. And she goes through the Rahal straight. Now she's about to enter the corkscrew. I did not mention this yet, but this is the corkscrew that she's about to enter. One of the um, people hates this turn, but people say this is the most famous turn in all of America, which is true. Coming into turn nine, coming out of turn nine, about to enter turn 10. And there she goes through turn 10. And no pun intended because I mean, Forza is a turn 10 studios, a video game. <laughs> And now she comes in, she comes into turn 11 and she's about to enter her final lap. And there she goes. The white flag is now raised indicating the final lap. And she got off the, uh, off the ground there just a little bit. 
thanks to that downforce of the wing and that front splitter to keep her on the ground as much as she can. And she's going through the hairpin with again without any sweat. Coming into turn three. All right, going past the arch, coming into turn four. This is just outstanding driving by Sunset. I mean, she's a little bit sloppy around the around this track at a, at some certain times, but she is really. Uh, getting used to this track just right now and she's uh, you know with a little bit of practice you know you get the use of track and so far she's doing pretty well and she's now entering to turn five actually no i'm sorry this is turn six coming into rahal straight and she's about to enter the corkscrew Ooh, she's going a little bit hard right there and she hits the brakes just in time coming into the corkscrew coming out of the corkscrew out of turn 8a Coming through turn nine, and once again, coming back to turn 10, and about to approach turn 11, right after turn 10, which is turn 10 is right here. And she's approaching turn 11, into the final turn. Coming into the final stretch, and here's the final stretch, coming into the finish line, and we got ourselves a winner here. From a, for just a few months of absence, Sunset Shimmer is really back on track and Equestrian Motorsports is clinching into the playoffs with 28 wins and zero losses. Come on, when are these, when are these people are gonna lose? We need a loser somehow.